Welcome to my channel, I'm Domenico Solazzo and if you are here, you are curious how to become a full stack developer. How to become a full stack developer is one of the most common questions that I get like on my DM, on, mostly like on Instagram. And so in this video I want to explain you like what is a full stack developer and how you can become a full stack developer. Mostly like if you are like coming from college, probably you are reading like job posts, everyone is looking for full stack developer and you have no clear idea how to go from being like a student, finish your degree and become like a full stack developer. A full stack developer is what is called jack of all trades master of none. That is partially true because it's like you are not really mastering all the technology in the tech stack and you are working like all over the place in the in the stack. But this is just partially true because it's like there are like advantages and disadvantages to be like a full stack developer. But I think like the best way to describe a full stack developer is a developer that can fuck up the system at multiple levels in the tech stack. So you can mess up like the front end, you can mess up like the business logic, you can mess up the database. You are really like a master in messing up your, your project. Uh, apart from this joke, being like the jack of all trades has like advantages. So it's like you have like a really like big picture about what is the project about. You have like a clear understanding how to move from the business logic server side to presenting that to the user on a mobile client, on a desktop client or in a web client. On the other side, probably you are not really going deep in any of this part of the tech stack. So probably you are like not super expert Python developer. If you are like your project is like in Python, you are not really spending so much time becoming an expert on just like the server side of Python. So what are the pros of being a full stack developer? Uh, the first one that I see, and it's very important, at least for me as a developer, and that's why I like to be a full stack developer. You get like the big picture of the entire product. You get the big picture of the full stack of the product, the tech product. So you understand what is happening in the front end. You understand how the API works. You understand what the business logic on the server side is doing. You understand where the data is saved in the database and you know how to connect all these things together. I think it's like becomes like you become very powerful as a developer because like you can really help in multiple side of the product where it's needed. The second one is because like you know like multiple technology, usually full stack developer are paid very high salary. Now I don't know, uh, I don't know if ever like always like full stack developer gets paid like the highest paid in a company but usually and this is like my personal experience full stack developer were getting like very high salary just because like they have like a bigger knowledge of different technology that can impact a company and so they have like they have multiple ways to help the company to grow and to improve their product and for this reason they are paid more. And third, like there are like so many opportunities as a full stack developer. You just go check in different job board and you will see like how many opportunities as full stack developer you can find out there. If you are like a full stack developer and you don't find a full stack developer position close to you, because you have like knowledge of the backend, you can look for backend opportunities and or maybe you can look for front-end only opportunities because you have knowledge. You are good enough on the front-end, you are good enough on the back-end, so you can probably look for this kind of opportunity. So it's like you have like a really broad range of opportunities when you are like a full-stack developer. Is every company looking for full-stack developers? No, not every company is looking for full-stack developers. This is like it's based on the size of the team and how they have been building software 
in the years before. So some companies like to divide like front-end team and back-end team and probably the team leader, the two teams needs to talk to each other to make a basic understanding of what will be transferred between like the back end to the front end from the front end to the back end. So having kind of like a data model between the two, having a clear understanding of client server requests and responses. Some other company instead likes a lot to have like full stack developer. Maybe they are like smaller. So usually like in startups, it's quite common to have full stack developer because like the team is very small and you need to help in the entire tech stack of the product. So you need to be able to write the Python code and then present what you wrote in the backend to the, to the user, maybe in a web page or create an API from your backend code and interact that with a mobile app that probably you are working with. When you apply for a company, you need to check if they are looking for a full stack developer for just like a backend developer or front end developer. It depends from their culture. It depends how they've been building software before and what are their needs? Because maybe they have, maybe they are going to change their way to, to build software in future. So the most important question is like, how do I become a full stack developer? Now I explain you just what is a full stack developer, the reason to be a full stack developer, the advantages, the pros and cons, but how do you become, what, what are like the steps that you should know to become like a full stack developer. So the first thing that is very important is like how a system works and how a system is like divided like a multiple layer, a presentation layer, you have like a business layer, you have like a database layer, and how the information move like from bottom to top, from top to bottom throughout the the run of the product. You need to really learn the basic of computer programming. You need to learn like having a basic understanding of data structure algorithm. Plus you need to know how system works. So you need to understand how the internet works and actually how the client and server communicate, what are URL, what is HTTP and what are the status code that are returning back from a response from the server. So as a full stack developer, you need to have like the skills to move in between the code on server side, like on the presentation side, on the front end, probably it's like you will be able to work with like databases like a SQL or no, no, no SQL databases. It's quite common that a full stack developer knows how to deploy the application to production, but this depends from project to project, company to company, what they are like their process. But for example, you maybe know how to push your app to your AWS account or Azure or Google Cloud platform or Heroku or whatever platform you are using. So it's like you have a clear understanding how to go from your project, you know the server side code, you know the front end code, and you know how to move and connect all these pieces together. That, that is like is the most important part. So you are really moving multiple levels in the tech stack of your product when you are a full stack developer. When are you working on, for example, on the front end side, probably you are working with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, some kind of like framework like React.js or AngularJS uh, on top of JavaScript. On the server side, probably you are using some server side programming language like PHP, could be Java, could be Go, could be like Node.js, could be whatever language is working server side for your product. You know like databases, so probably you will work with MySQL, with Postgres, with MongoDB or whatever databases is available to you in your project. And plus you are doing some DevOps work, so maintaining the app like available to the user, probably you know how to deploy the app to the user to your Heroku account or AWS, Azure, Google platform, whatever platform you are using for your project. 
So hope that this clarify all the technology that you need to know if you want to be a full stack developer. And that's why I say that for probably as a first job is probably a lot to learn, but you can do it. But probably is much more recommended that you choose a position as a backend developer or a front end developer, and then you try to move between the two where throughout time, like uh, time, day by day, you try to learn a bit more of the other side that you didn't pick for your first job. But hope this video was helpful. I hope this video helped you to understand a bit more about uh, how to become a full stack developer. We will go deep like in future videos on all of this technology and how you can connect them together. But for today, that's all. If you like this video, click that like button, subscribe, click the notification bell so it's like you will get notified when new videos are coming out in my channel. Do all the things the YouTubers tell you to do like in this year and hope to see you to the next video. Bye.